for being here, Hanji. Jesus Christ, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate you. Hello? Uh, yeah. So... Uh, hold on a second. Let me, fi is... let me fix this layout. Sorry. Uh... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. The question is, why did God allow slavery? I would suppose it's because in some cases it would be something that would be necessary and needed in a society. Really? You think so? Yeah, I mean, I think there would be certain situations in which people... Um, uh, you know, depending on their behavior and how they live, might would uh, necessarily tell that they don't deserve to have freedom. Like even children? Maybe a serial killer or something like that. Rapist, whatever. Yeah, well, but like, but God told the Israelites they can go and get children as slaves and they can own them for life. Well, like, you're saying that slavery might be okay for like punishment for a crime? Is that a sea line in the background? <laughs> uh, he said to go get children for slaves and own them for life. Yeah, God said. Or God told just me. Paraphrasing a passage. No, no, it's a, I'll read it to you. It's Leviticus twenty-five forty-four through forty-six. Um, about your men and women slaves, you may get men and women slaves from the nations around you. Also, you may get children as slaves if they come from the families of the foreigners living in your land. These child slaves will belong to you. You may even pass these slaves onto your children after you die so that they will belong to them. They will be your slaves forever. You may make slaves of these foreigners, but you must not be a cruel master over your own brothers, the Israelites. <clears throat> so, I mean... Are you saying that slavery would be acceptable for, for a, as punishment as a crime? Is that what you're saying? Uh, just so you know, when you swipe up out of the app, we can't hear you. Um, you um, oh, could you read that again? Because I have nothing hey. about children. So listen, you have to stay in the app, or I can't hear you. Okay. Did you uh, just? Did you just? Did you, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I, I mean, I just, I looked at that passage and it doesn't say anything about children in the English Standard Version. So what version are you reading? Oh, okay. Let, let, me, let me pull up the um, ESV and I'll, I'll show you. So the ESV, let's see how that reads. The ESV says, uh, as for your male and female slaves, whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from among the nations that are around you. You may also buy from among them strangers who sojourn with you and their clans that are with you. Uh, the clan would be uh, referred to as a child. You may also, clan you may also buy from among the child. strangers who sojourn with you and their clans that are with you who have been born in your land. So that's the children. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't actually say children. Yes, it does. It says that You're you may also buy... And to mean a child. It says, and there are clans that are with you who, who have been I born... A, in, I think you're being a little bit... I think you're being a bit too liberal with that passage, don't you think? No, because it's literally in, referring... In Exodus 21, when it's talking about slaves, it does actually mention children. So why would it not be the case that it just blatantly said children in Leviticus 25? It, it does refer to children here. It says that they are born, the ones that are born in your land, the children that are born in your land. Yeah, in, in Exodus 21. No, I'm, so no why, I'm, we're, I, we're on Leviticus. You say clan is, can, is. Well, it, it's, no, what I'm saying the, is, they're clans say that are with that you. You've interpreted clan to be child, right? No, I'm interpreting the part where it says yeah. the ones who have been born in your land as children. It's a, yeah, but it doesn't use the word child. That that's point. Use the word you say well, clan. But in Exodus it says, twenty-one, it does. It refer says the to ones a child, that are. So why would you not think that it would have just blatantly said child there? Exodus twenty-one. What talks about a child? Are you talking about Exodus twenty-one seven? What it if talks about if if a woman. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah a, so well, Exodus, if a woman. So, 
you know, if you give, if the master gives a, a wife and they have children, he may not, the children may not go out. So it's using, doesn't have a problem in saying child dire. So I'm just wondering, well, I just think you're being a little bit too liberal with that passage in Leviticus 25 saying that that's saying you can buy children from well, man, it says, it forever. says, don't you think it says, it says you may also buy from among the strangers who sojourn with you and their clans who have been born in your land. That is referring to children. They're the, 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 the people, the, no, the, it just says somebody who'd been born. So, in the land. so yeah, that, that would be a child. mean the children. That would be a child. No, I mean, uh, adults could be born in the land too. Yeah, I mean, but well, adults could be there too, and you buy an adult. So well, I just, I just think you're a little bit. I think you're being too liberal with that passage. There. If you want to talk about children, you can go to Exodus 21. But I don't think it's going to do you good to talk about children in Leviticus 21. Okay, let's let's see if Exodus 21. It, it, what was it? The ESV. You read the you read the ESV, right? Yeah. What is that in the background? Yeah, is that a dog? Is that a dog? Hello? Is that a dog in the background? Yeah, it's my beagle bark. Oh, okay. It's a beagle. He sounds funny. Um, so, yeah. So, which verse are you saying here that it would talk about uh, children? Oh, okay. I got it. So, this is where if you buy a Hebrew slave... Um, they're going to go free on the, on, on the sixth, on the seventh year, if they come to you single, but if you give them a wife and he, ha the wife has a child, then when it's time for him to go, he, he has to go on his own. The wife and the children actually belong with you. And if you want to keep your wife and children, you have to devote yourself to the master and let them pierce your ear. And then your own his property for life. Is that, that's the verse you're talking about? Yeah. So I'm saying that since it does use the word child there, so, but you don't yeah, have to go in Leviticus 25, why would, don't you think that's being a little liberal with that passage? Well, it depends on what translation you read, because in the ERV, it talks about children, and other, other, other translations talk about, talk about children as well. And I would argue that it is talking about children because it says the clans who are born in your land. That would be referring to children. Okay. Well... I'm not. I'm not really going to necessarily dispute you there. I just don't think. I think that that's being a little bit too. Well, uh, let's let's just say um, for the sake of the argument that it. I don't think that's giving enough charity for that charity for that passage. Okay. Well, let, let's just say that for the sake of the argument that it, it's not talking about children, even though it's talking about people who are being born in your land. We'll just say that that doesn't mean that's their children, the ones who are being born in your land. We can say that. But would you agree that this is God? giving instructions to the Israelites on how to practice slavery, how to own people for life? Uh, I wouldn't have a problem saying, yeah, that God is giving them some an instruction there to uh, practice what you would define as slavery. We would call it slavery. But I just don't think when you compare it to modern slavery, well, we would actually think of it as slavery in that context. Well, they were owned for life and they were beaten. You were allowed to own them for life and you can beat them with a rod. That would be pretty much the same thing as like the Atlantic trade slavery. But it doesn't actually use the word own for life there. It actually says inherit or you pass them down as inheritance. No, it says you can own them for life. Are you saying that Bible, that passage actually is translated you can own them for life and not pass down as an inheritance? It says... About your men and women slaves, you may get men and women slaves from the other nations around you. Also, you may get children as slaves if they come from the families of the foreigners living in your land. These child slaves will belong to you. You may even pass these slaves on to your children after you die so that they will belong to them. They will be your slaves forever. You may make slaves of these foreigners, but you must not be a cruel master over your own brothers, the Israelites. So, yeah, you are. they were owned for life, and you are allowed to beat them as well in Exodus 21. Okay, so did you know, I don't know if you know this, but there's a passage in Exodus 21 where it talks about if a if an ox um, gores a person, then the owner must, you know, could be what? put to death or have to pay, if it's a slave, 30 pieces of silver. Now, under that translation, it's viewed, it's translated as an owner of the ox. 
But under the other, the master, it's, trans, it's not translated that way. It's translated as master. And in Leviticus 25, you don't see that Hebrew word for the owner of the person like you do they're the owner of the for, They're owned for life. So like, I'll even, when you I'll look even read at it that, to you. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's considered them. <laughs> The ownership of them. You just, I think you're, you're now you're not. You're just. You're, you're being. You're being totally disingenuous right now. Like I'll even read it in the ESV. Your preferred translation is the ESV. Okay, right. Um, as for your male and female slaves, whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves from the, among the nations that are around you. You may also buy from among the strangers who sojourn with you and their clans that are with you who have been born in your land, and they may be your property. You may bequeath them to your sons after you to inherit as a possession forever. It's literally saying you can own them for life, and for you to suggest otherwise is just you're not even being you're just not being honest. You're being disappointed. well. And this is from the that's ESV. Be this a is a problem for you if you're saying that because it also it also says no. It's not a problem God for me. It's a problem for you. It's a problem uh, does, for you it, do because we own God. What do we own God? Where are you pivoting to? The now? Bible also this? says that the Levites will have no inheritance. God is their inheritance. So the Bible that also that says Levites own God. I don't even know what this pivot is, but this isn't a problem for me. This is a problem for you because you're the one who worships a God that is totally fine with people being owned as slaves for life. He cares more no, about his people not eating shellfish. Because Aristotle. <laughs> it's not a problem for me because Aristotle, when he argued for slavery, he actually compared a slave as a tool for the shed that was literally owned by the person. It was like their tool, like a plow. He considered a slave a rich man's ox. In the Bible, there you don't see the slave as being described as owned as an ox, but rather having a master. Sir. Sir, it says you compare it says the they can, will be your like possession. Was, then I don't really says, see a problem with it. It says they will be your possession forever. What part of that are you not addressing? Yeah, the Bible also says that God is God is the possession of the of the Levites, an inheritance to the Levites. So does what? that mean they own God? What are your what's have your, you ever have you never seen that passage? I don't My understand what, is, how that's relevant. In the Bible, there's a distinction. It doesn't, it doesn't, when you say the Bible condones the owning of another human being, it actually doesn't. It, no, it does. It absolutely does. It, uh, it, it, you might could say it condones having a master over another human being, but it doesn't You're condone owning another human being like yes. you would own an yes, ox it does. in the field or your, a your God, or something like that. Your God, no, it very doesn't. Specific, not according to... The Hebrew translation. Well, there's a, listen, there's a bad delay. There's like a five second delay between us. That's why we keep talking over each other. Um, your God gave very specific rules and instructions and regulations to the Israelites on how to practice slavery. Nowhere in the Bible does God say, do not own people as property. In fact, the opposite. He says, if you want to own people as property for life, you must get them from the foreign nations around you. This is God condoning slavery. Your God absolutely failed to condemn slavery. And he 1,000% condones it. Look, I'm not, I, I don't really have a pro, if you want to say, call that slavery, I'm saying that you can't say, call that condoning of another human being as owning them. That's what I'm saying. Because so, it doesn't view it that way. Like Aristotle. So when God slavery. says. There's a, a so clear when, distinction between what Aristotle thought of slavery and what the Bible teaches about slavery. Okay, so when it says, as for your male and female slaves, whom you may have, you may buy male and female slaves, etc., 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 you're saying that that's not slavery. No, I'm saying it's not commanding owning another human being as property. You know, yeah, my, I never argue that God commands it. That's not the argument here. God does not command it. He condones it. I'm saying Maybe that was he's the not teaching the ownership. Yeah, I'm. I'm, te I'm saying he's not teaching having ownership oh. like some sort of absolute ownership over a, over a human, like Aristotle was teaching. Yes, 
He is. God is telling the, his chosen people, you can have slaves. And if you want to have them for life, you must go and get them from the foreign nations around you. How can you sit there and say with a straight face that this is not God condoning owning a person for life as property? It's ridiculous. I already gave you the answer from Exodus 21. The ox is considered the own, the man owns the ox. So we, ha so we have a contradiction in, in your Bible in here, passage, don't we? The slave is not considered owned by the master. He just considered the master over the slave. It says they will be your possession forever. They will be your possession forever. They are owned. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. And I and I would admit. No, you clearly don't understand it because you're not agreeing today, with what it says. Sure, you could say that. But also, the Bible says that God, we are. God, we inherit the Levites will inherit God. God is our inheritance. God is their possession. So I'm just saying that doesn't mean that they own God. That, I, that's the distinction. This, you keep you keep going back to this point, but it's not making any sense to me. What are you? What is the point? I don't understand how that what you're talking well, about here. Like that we me, don't own God. Just, well, let me just move on. Then. Let me just move on to something else. The way we define slavery today is an unjustified taking of someone else and considering them our property stealing stealing their freedom that's what that's what happened um, here and i'm that's saying what's happening look, that's what's happening in leviticus 25 yeah, if you're looking at the ten commandments the ten commandments forbid stealing and it forbids coveting the definition of coveting is the desire to possess someone or something without regards for another person's rights so the problem is if so then we have a, so then we the have Bible a contradiction in your bible then. as we define it today then that's a violation of the ten commandments so are you saying that god Would is you agree that be a violation people? of the ten commandments i will, if 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 that's the way you're interpreting it I'm i would say we have god a contradiction is here the slavery that the way you're defining okay. slavery today <laughs> Okay, if God is against slavery, if God is against owning people as property stealing for life, someone, coveting someone else and stealing their freedom. <clears throat> okay, show me the verse where God says, "Do not own a person for life." Or it is in a verse that actually specifically says that. Right. So you're just making shit up because says, I have a verse. He that stealeth a man, or he that. He that kidnaps a man and keeps them or is found in possession of it must be put to death. Yeah, that's referring to like if you capture, if you like kidnap your own fellow brother, your own fellow Israelite. That's uh, Exodus twenty one sixteen. Um, actually, that depends on what scholars you talk to. Every every major biblical know, scholar will tell you. I know. Um, I know atheist scholars who don't hold to that position. I can name one. Well, then they're just they're just lying because Exodus twenty one sixteen is talking about your own fellow Hebrews. You're not allowed to kidnap your own fellow Hebrew. Well, he that wrote is, a book about was, it. Okay. You want me to name him? Doctor yeah, Josh sure. Bowen of Dejno Hammurabi. I've had multiple conversations with him. He looks at that passage as not necessarily just about a Hebrew. Well, no, it is about Hebrews. No, I'm saying that he looks at it and doesn't look at it like you're you're sick. This is this is he, 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 because this 21. There's also a passage in Deuter Deuteronomy that specifically says Hebrews, but it doesn't actually say Hebrews in this passage. So he yes. believes that it could Exodus be Exodus 21 also is about meaning anyone, a foreigner, a foreign slave as well. No, no. Exodus 21 is laws about your Hebrew slaves. Exodus 21 starts with laws about your Hebrew slaves. These are the rules that you shall set before them when you buy a Hebrew slave. Everything in Exodus 21 is referring to your Hebrew slaves. Just like in Exodus 21, 16, where it says, Whoever steals a man okay. and sells him, and anyone found in possession of him shall be put to death. That is referring to your own fellow Hebrew man, your own brother, your own Israelite. Because if you're going to say that... You're not allowed to go and take people against their will. Well, then we have a contradiction here in your Bible, because in Leviticus 25, 44 through 46, God gives explicit instructions to do that exact thing. Are you thing. willing to say it's a contradiction? Are you willing sure, to I'm say willing it's to admit a contradiction? Uh, because I provide... If you, you're you going to hold to the position... Specifically just... Are you, wait, 
Do you think the Ten Commandments are just specifically for the Hebrews? Yes, the Ten Commandments are for his chosen people. Okay. So the Ten Commandments are specifically for the Hebrews that they should not steal and they should not covet, right? Now, do you think that those right. Ten Commandments when, say that you should not steal from just Hebrews, or do you think it's saying you should not steal from anyone? Well, just to point out, there is really no such thing as the Ten Commandments. There was over 600 laws and commandments given to Moses and the Israelites on top of Mount Sinai by God. But somewhere along the line, they came to be like the, the Ten Commandments, like the most popular or like the, the Ten that should always be followed. But there's not just Ten. There's over 600 of them. But yes, all of those are just... Well, I'm talking the, about the, the Ten Commandments as in Exodus 20, and it's actually repeated virtually word for word in Deuteronomy chapter 5. Those are yeah, the all of, I'm talking about. Yes, do all of steal, those are... Do not covet is two of them. Yeah, all of that only applies to God's chosen people, the Israelites. Those are those are instructions and laws and commands given to Moses okay. by God that only apply to the Israelites. That's why that's why when God says, listen, if you want to have so slaves... the Israelites... It's just kind of hard to have a conversation right now because there's um, a bad delay between us. Yeah, I agree. There does seem to be something. I, maybe it's, I can it's come back you, at another time when it, the, the connection is a little better. Yeah, it's showing you have a bad connection. So, like, I feel like every time I try to talk, you start talking at the same time because there's like a about a five second delay between us. But I, I got a I got another guess. If you'd like to try to come back in a little bit, or maybe turn your Wi-Fi off. Just try to fix your Wi-Fi or try to fix your connection here. I'm not sure. Guys, keep double tapping that screen, everybody. Please click that follow button, guys. Share the live. Uh, Hello. Subscribe to my YouTube, guys. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to say um, when the Israelites came to that land, they were supposed to wipe everybody out. Um, uh, they didn't because a large portion of them decided they were going to be slaves instead. Those are the slaves. Uh, no, in Leviticus 25, 44 through 46, that's referring to foreign foreigners from outside of the nation of Israel. Yes, they were foreigners whose land the Israelites were going to take because they sacrificed kids. So they were all going to be wiped out. Show me out. the verse. Show me the verse. I don't have it in front of me, bro. I've read it thousands of times, bro. So, it's right so there. Just ahead. read. They're going to be Show wiped the verse. out. Show me the verse where these foreigners were sacrificing slaves. kids. I believe it's after Jericho. Show me the verse where these verse foreigners... Because I, I remember it. Okay. I don't need the verse because I remember it. Go find the verse where God says where the, the, the foreigners who were owned as slaves were sacrificing kids, and they also wanted to be slaves. That's your claim. Oh, no, 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 no. They asked to be slaves without God telling them, telling the Israelites that they asked okay. to be slaves. They did that, so and they've signed me the verse where these foreigners in front of God to be slaves in return for their lives. That is why there are rules okay. about how to manage your slaves. It Give also me the verse says where these foreigners were wanted to be slaves. Sorry? Give me the verse that says that these foreigners wanted to be slaves. Um, uh, after, right after they conquered Jericho, I want the, the I kings want the ride out and they I need make the a book, deal chapter that their people will be servants of the Israelites forever. I need the book, they are the chapter people who verse. live around them. They are the people that the Israelites aren't supposed to marry. Because when God comes down, when Moses comes down with the Ten Commandments and sees they're sinning, God tells him, God... Well, says, you guys have ruined everything. You're supposed to be special. Now, instead, okay, I, want the, the I want the book, the chapter, and the verse. The, no way, bro. It's one of the first four books, man. I've read it. Go find it. Go find There's the no book, need, bro. The you chapter, can find and the it verse. if you want to disprove it. I'm just saying for the people here Listen, who you're don't the one know making the claim. aren't able to argue. If anyone wants to come up and argue this, you guys can go read it up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell the, the truth. You're the one don't claiming. Say, you're they were the supposed one to die anyway. This. They were pagans. And the you're the one. You're the one claiming that this verse exists, saying that these foreigners wanted to well, be it's slaves. Not a verse. It's multiple verses. Okay, right? Point me to Across one. Across multiple Point me books. to one. Sorry. Point me to one. Just point me to. If there's so many of them, just point me to one. Bro, I don't have the Bible in front of me right now. This is from memory, right. because I actually no, read this. You're just making shit up. There is no verse in the Bible that says that these foreigners wanted to be slaves to the Israelites. There is absolutely no verse in the Bible that says, hey, the foreigners that God said you can go and get slaves, they actually wanted to be slaves. That's a fucking ridiculous argument. <laughs> a 
Hello. How you doing? Yeah, I'm not bad of you. What's that? I so, said, I'm not bad of you. You're not buddy? <laughs> I said, I, I'm not bad. Are you okay? Oh, you're not bad. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm not bad either. Good. I'm glad. Right. Are, you, are you trying to basically say, um, if God's real, then why would he allow slavery? In Are you talking in the sense of the Old Testament or in the New Testament as well? Whatever you'd like to talk about. Why, why does your God allow slavery? I mean, in the New Testament, that's the New Covenant, so... It doesn't really talk about slavery in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, that was a yes, thing. Yes, it does. Ephesians 6, 5, slaves obey your earthly masters the same way you would obey Christ. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't aware of that. I mean, I'll have to look into that, but... I, I, and also... I and also it's, it's, it, it, I don't think it's talking about actually allowing slavery, though. It says, slaves, obey your earthly masters the same way you would obey Christ. There's actually there's there's also some verses that say that in the New Testament where uh, it says that the master, the slaves should be uh, like should obey their masters even the harsh ones, and not and not obey just the good ones. So that's all in the New Testament. Right, I see. But also, yeah, if Jesus is God, then God 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 allows then Jesus allows slavery too. If Jesus is God. Yeah. I mean, I can, so why I, can does, see, I can see like what point you're coming from with that. So do you have an answer to why God allows slavery but doesn't want you to eat crabs or lobster? <laughs> I, I can't say I do. Is it because maybe he's immoral? I wouldn't say he's immoral. I would say he's quite just. Really? Is slavery immoral? Slavery is immoral, yeah. But God allows it. But I suppose it's with the aspect of free will. I suppose he doesn't have an influence over what people choose to do. I suppose slavery is a thing that pe people what, what, decided to to do. It's, what's it's a, more, it, what, what's more immoral: eating lobster or owning slaves? Obviously, owning slaves. Right, but God says, "I command you to not eat shellfish." God says, "You are not to eat shellfish." I command it. But yeah. when it comes to owning people as slaves, he's totally fine with it. He says, you're allowed to do this. Go get them from the four nations around. You can own them for life. Yeah. So God's but, immoral. He actually prefers the immoral thing. He prefers to allow the immoral thing as opposed to allowing something as harmless as eating lobster or shrimp. Yeah. No, but are you sort of saying that, that God isn't real? Um, but are you saying that the Christian God isn't I, I, real? Are you saying I that? didn't say, I, didn't, I never said that. I never said God's not real. I just, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not convinced that God's real, but I'm not claiming that I, I know for are a you fact. You're convinced of the Christian God being real? I'm not convinced of any God being real. Okay. But I'm not, I'm not claiming that I know for a fact that your God is not real. Yeah. Which I kind of respect because no one can tell anyone for definite if there is or if there isn't. That's a very close-minded perspective well, in life, to be honest. Depending, depending on the definition of your God, you can disprove certain gods if they're illogical, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, so, but... But I, I mean, suppose could, with, with where it is with Christianity, is the way I see it is the Old Testament was basically a prophecy of the Messiah, and then the New Testament is the fulfillment of the Messiah and the teachings of the Messiah. But the, the Old Testament was basically a prophecy of a Messiah coming. I mean, that's, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't really know if Jesus actually fulfilled any prophecies, but that's not what I'm here to argue. I'm here to ask why, why did God allow slavery? Yeah. My only, uh, logical, yeah. my only logical answer is because God is evil. God is immoral. He's totally fine with children being yeah. owned as slaves. I suppose the angle that I would sort of view it at is um, with people. I suppose that was a thing that people created. People took slaves um, on. Uh, and I suppose it was a thing during those times in the biblical times. So I suppose that was still a thing. But I do sort of agree with what you're saying where it so should have said that it's not allowed. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, he could have also, like, he said, don't lie, don't steal, don't murder, yeah. don't cuss your parents, don't eat shellfish. He could have also said, and also, don't own people's property. Yeah. And if like, your I, argument... I will agree with you with that. 
if your argument is, well, maybe perhaps the reason God allows it is because that was just a part of the time back then. You know, slavery was a part of the time back then. That's why God allows it. Yeah. Well, that's not a very good argument because so was lying, so was stealing, so was murdering, so was eating shellfish. All of those was a part of the time back then, and God said, don't do those things. Yeah. That is a fair point, to be honest. That is a fair point. Yeah, so it kind of sounds like you don't really have an answer, so I'm going to move on to the yeah, next yeah, guest. Yeah, yeah. But, but I appreciate no, you. That was a nice debate. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a debate, but uh, I appreciate you uh, watching. I appreciate you coming up. Thank you. Right. All right. Guys, everyone keep spamming those likes, guys. Double tap the screen. Share the live, everybody. Click the follow button, guys. Please, if you enjoy the content, please click the follow button. Also, if you want to watch the full live stream, go subscribe to my YouTube. The link is in the bio. I have a ton of my full live streams in my YouTube. If you guys want to go watch them, please, uh, excuse me, please subscribe to my YouTube. I appreciate it. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Yeah. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, um, all right. Good. I, um, <clears throat> I would say that, um, it was not God that institute um, slavery. He, al he only allowed it because um, that was um, actually the order of the day. Because, you know, in those times, you used to fight, nation used to fight a lot of wars and conquer other nations, right? And that was um, actually the order of the day. When you conquer nations, you know, you... Um, you take this stuff and you know right but take slave but in in leviticus 25 44 through 46 where god gives instructions to the israelites and how they can own slaves there's no time of war going on there it's just god telling the israelites if you want to own slaves you must go and get them from the foreign nations around them around you and then those are the ones you can own for life there's no time of war there's, they're not there's no um you know battle going on here it's just they had just been freed from slavery they're literally wandering around in the desert they have nothing and god gives them all kinds of rules and instructions including how to practice slavery okay so why okay. did god allow slavery uh, listen <clears throat> that may be um i i really can't answer that right uh, but that does not, um, to me, that does not, um, you know, it may look as though is, it is something bad, all right? It is bad. But um, it's, that it's does not convince me that, that does not convince me, you know, that God is a bad God. What about if I told you God commanded little virgin girls to be captured and spo as spoils of war? Would that convince you that God is a bad God? Listen, and where in the Bible say that? Numbers 31. Okay. Numbers 31, 17 through 18, God commands little virgin girls to be captured as spoils, spoils of war and forced into marriage. <clears throat> uh, will, that, will that convince you God's back? I have, to, I, have to check, I have to check that one out for myself. It says, on a lot, it says, unalive do you know what unalive means yeah yeah okay Kill. it says yeah it says unalive all the midianite boys unalive all the midianite women who have had physical relations but save the girls for yourselves who are virgins okay so and also they captured 16,000 virgins and they sacrificed 32 of the virgins to god because apparently God wanted some of those young virgin girls. Would that be enough to convince What they you? do? Sacrifice? Yeah. To God? Yep. Uh, that's, that, that sounds strange mm -hmm. to me. Because Why? God, God of the Bible did not um, accept human sacrifices. Of course he did. All throughout the Old Testament. Uh, that whenever you have to 
pay atonement for a sin or something, you sacrifice, you shit to God, all kinds of animals, people. I, I, I know animals, but not people. Yes, people. There were 16,000 of them. There were 16,000 of them captured and they gave 32 of them to the Lord. They gave, this is what they did. They caught 675,000 sheep, 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and 16,000 virgins. They gave 72. They gave 72 of the cattle to the Lord. Out of the three, out of the 30,000 donkeys, they gave 61 of the donkeys to the Lord. And out of the 16,000 virgins, they gave 32 of them to the Lord. This is in Numbers 31, Numbers 31, uh, 39 through 41. Would, would that be uh, would that be enough to convince you that your God's an evil, raging, violent no, I don't, psychopath? I don't think so. I don't what think about, so. What if I told you God commands little babies be un, be alive? In First Samuel fifteen three, where God commands Saul's army to go and kill all the Amalekites and kill all their babies, would that would that be enough to convince you that your God is a violent, bloodthirsty maniac? <laughs> I know, I know um, about that. Yes, that is true. Uh, so even after knowing that, even after even after knowing that your God commanded little babies be killed. That is not enough for you to say, you know what? My God is probably not a good guy. <laughs> Your God flooded hey, the world. I was, not... Your God flooded the world and drowned every single human being on earth, except for Noah, yeah. like, eight, like Noah and four other people. God. Babies, God children, is the pregnant, creator. pregnant mm -hmm. women. That is true. That is true. God is the creator of, of um of the world of each and every living creature and um you know um i think that another thing that we have to consider is that in the in the old testament you know god was introducing himself to humanity because we know about god but we did not know what he's capable of doing God, the Bible said that God he made he made some vessels of honor and some of dishonor, and the vessel of dishonor it suit the the people that suffer. You understand? His main purpose was to to in, to let people know what he is capable of doing. Because remember, he gave he gave man a will to do. Um, matter of fact. Well, no, well, that's actually your God. Your God, is, your God does not give you free will, but that's a whole other discussion. Uh, free will is never mentioned in the Bible. There is no verse where God says you have free will. So that's all an illusion. But um, I just, I just want to say real quick, skits. I came up here for one second. Mark said that God doesn't uh, demand human sacrifice, but your yeah, that, entire, yeah, that's crazy. Your entire belief hinges on the, on human sacrifice. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus, was quite literally, a, a human sacrifice, and so to say that Yahweh does not rely on human sacrifice or doesn't do human sacrifice is ridiculous. Because if that was the case, then your whole belief system would fall apart mm. completely. Because Jesus was the definition of a human sacrifice. So I just wanted to come in here and point that out. Uh, I won't hang out much longer, but um, no, you're free to hang out if you no. want your days. Uh, I can hang out on mute. I'll, I'll be around. But go ahead. Cool. W days. But Listen, but the, Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus, right? My understanding is this. That's a human sacrifice. God which said, you said when God, God doesn't do. Pardon me? That was, yeah. a that was a human sacrifice, which you said that God does not do. But I believe that God, in, um, Jesus was God himself. Manifest in, in the flesh. God prepared that flesh, that body. You understand? And he manifests it was himself still a human. in, was in that um, body. Was Jesus a human? Mm, yes, but he well, didn't. He what? He did not have a father, a, 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 a earthly father. But it was a human sacrifice. It's just Mary. That's the point. That's the point. Days was making is that it was a human sacrifice, and we, and you said that God doesn't do human sacrifices, which He does. But the reason, the reason that he made that sacrifice 
is that he tell Adam from the, from the day that you so eat now, that so food, now there's you're, a reason you're so, so first so first there was no human sacrifices and now there is one and there's a good reason for it yeah. that is the reason for that is to for for man's to um have to be part of mark it doesn't matter the reason the the fact is that jesus was a sacrifice and he was human therefore being a human sacrifice what was the reason for the little virgin girls to be sacrificed what was that reason but um i don't think those uh, those virgin was um literally sacrificed when when the bible talk about giving give to the lord you understand right mm. they were given to the lord how? They were sacrificed to the Lord. Like yes. they had they were in sacrificed. those times they had this in, in those times they had Nazarites. Those are sacrificed. people that used to give those those are people that used to give themselves service. They don't take wife, you understand? Give themselves service over to the to the Lord. That is what I understand when they talk about, you know, in terms of human beings. So when it says when it says that they gave um when it says they gave 30,000 donkeys to the Lord and, yeah. and 36,000 cattle to the Lord. What does that mean? That is sacrifice. That is for yeah, animals. Yeah. And they gave that 16 and they gave 16,000 virgins to the Lord. No, but they, they, that's a sacrifice. I would not agree with that because what? <laughs> at so, one time listen, the sir, Israelites Sir, sir. Mm -hmm. When they gave when they gave thirty thousand yeah. when they gave thirty thousand donkeys to the Lord, that's a sacrifice. When they gave thirty six thousand cattle mm -hmm. to the Lord, that's a sacrifice. When they gave thirty two virgins to the Lord, whoa, that's not a sacrifice. No, why I, and why I say it is not a sacrifice, but because there is a part of the Bible when the Israelites had wanted to follow a different nation to sacrifice the children, God said that I it I had, it, it never even crossed my mind to really um to really accept that. That is why I cannot accept that. Well, I'm sorry, you can't accept it. That's he said that it did not even cross his mind for for to, to receive any human sacrifice he did though no yes Th 32 virgins out of sixteen thousand of them were given to the lord you said you said that when 30 they were given hold on hold mm -hmm. on you said that when thirty six thousand cattle were given to the lord that's a sacrifice when thirty thousand five hundred donkeys yeah. were given to the lord that's a sacrifice when three hundred and thirty seven thousand sheep were given to the lord that's a sacrifice when thirty two virgins were given to the lord that's a sacrifice the only way that i could see that that they were given they were given over to the Lord to serve, you know, in, ter in, in terms of not taking a husband. That is the only way because God did no, not, does sir, not no, accept they were sacrificed. Sacrifice. They were captured. They were, they were, they had little virgin girls were taken from their families. Their brothers were killed. Their parents were killed. They were captured by the soldiers. They checked them mm. to see if they were virgins or not. They touched them inappropriately to, to check which girls were virgins or not. And they captured them and sacrificed thirty-two little virgin girls to your God. That is your. That is. That um, is what your, your Bible says. That is what your book says. Mm. Now refute that. That is probably that is that is um your interpretation. Okay, let's read what it says, and you tell me how you interpret it. Okay, you tell me that I, you tell me how I'm interpreting mm. this wrong. Okay, I'm claiming that the little virgin girl's brothers and parents mm. were killed and that they were captured and 32 of them were given to the Lord. Yeah. You're telling me, you're telling me I'm misinterpreting that, right? Right? Huh? No, no, no. You, you're saying I'm misinterpreting it. That they I'm were killed. Yeah. So it says- They were ki killed. It says, it yeah, says, yeah. Yes, it says to kill all the Midianite boys, kill all the Midianite women who have had physical relations, but save the young girls for yourselves who are virgins, right? And then it talks about dividing the goods in verse 25, dividing the goods. So they divided, they gave 72,000 cattle, 61,000 donkeys, and they captured 16,000 virgins, and 32 of them were given to the Lord. 
Now, you tell me how you interpret that, because you're saying I'm misinterpreting it. So you tell me how you're interpreting that. Uh, because of my, because I am aware of the scripture that talk about, you know, God not accepting human sacrifice, you know, I really have to, um, I really have to, um, if God See doesn't that accept different, if God if God doesn't accept human sacrifice, then Jesus died for nothing. If God does not accept human sacrifice, then Jesus died on a stick for nothing. No, no, the, the, um, no Jesus, no, the, no, the, the, um, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus died for nothing. Sacrifice. Nope, Jesus died for no, nothing. No, I wouldn't say that. Yes, Jesus died for say absolutely that. nothing because God does not accept human sacrifice. Jesus died for nothing. I won't say I won't agree with that, bro. Really? So, so God does accept human sacrifice then? Listen, the 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 Bible said that the lamb Sir. was slain even before the foundation of the earth. Sir, that is what that was that was a part of God's plan even before Jesus come into being. Sir, does God does God accept human sacrifice? Yes or no? Only the only sacrifice that he accept was Jesus. So it's a yes. God does accept human sacrifice. What about what about Jeb? Jep not in general. Not in not in general, brother. Yeah. What about Jeb Taft's? I, I don't know how to say his name, but his his daughter who he set on fire for God as a sacrifice. Did God? Accept yeah. Did that? didn't he didn't he didn't he uh, he tell God, listen, if you help me win this battle, I will I will sacrifice the first thing that comes out of my home or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I know that scripture. Yeah, and yeah. when he comes when he comes home from the battle so, that he's won so the Mark, first over and over in your book it's shown that your God actually does uh accept humans as sacrifices to him. Um it's not just in one place. Um so it seems like a theme for your God, and especially again, uh, if we just look at the sacrifice of Jesus. Um I, I don't understand how you're how you're getting around the idea that Jesus was the epitome of a uh, human sacrifice. He, he was a human sacrifice. And, and uh, that, Mark, is, that, that is different. Even, that is to even, save humanity. It's, oh, it's different. It's different. So, Mark, even if you don't want it's to... It's a different accept, human sacrifice. Yeah. Even if you don't want to accept that in this verse, these virgin girls were sacrificed to God, I find it very strange that you're, you're very, like... It seems very easy for you to overlook the fact that they were taken as property, which I think is awful, terrible, and that their entire people group was unalived on a command of God. I think if we just look at those two things, which are, which are Thank you, Justin W. Justin W. Justin, which we can see in the text, which you can't dispute. There's no context mm -hmm. missing. I mean, these were little boys. Uh, women and, and men who were just unalived. Like, even if you don't want to accept that these virgin girls were were sacrificed to God um, at a later time, mm -hmm. um, how do you how do you justify those actions of unaliving little boys? Because I'm I'm sure some of those little boys were virgins too. But for whatever reason, God only wanted the virgin girls. It seems very strange. Mm. Now, um. As I as I said earlier, that um, God was introducing Himself to the world, right? And I said earlier that He have made the Bible said that He's made some vessels of honor and some vessels of dishonor, right? And those people, you know, that 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 suffer, He was just trying to teach the Israelites that listen, if you obey Me, you understand. You you gonna um you know reap success, but if you disobey me and he used those people as an instrument to demonstrate, you know what what he would do to anyone. You understand? But God already knows whether they're gonna obey right? him or God already knows whether they're gonna obey or disobey him already. So there's no really there's no reason for him to do all that shit because <clears throat> God already knows the end result because he's all knowing, right? <clears throat> but. Did disobey listen disobey um disobey is a choice and obey is also a choice it is not god's plan probably in in the bible those people that plays those well, parts i would a whole probably another discussion say, 
that's a whole nother discussion because mm. i would argue that if god is all-knowing you have no choice and if you're going to say god had a plan but god's plan didn't go the way he wanted it to then that means your god is not all-powerful that means your god failed and is it possible for your god to fail i don't think you would believe that so that's no a whole, no that's a whole nother impossible discussion. Yeah, so that's a whole nother discussion. Mm. So you can't sit there and say, my God had a plan. That's not his intentions. Things didn't go the way he intended. Things didn't go the way he planned. Because that would mean, that would be you be conceded, conceding that God is not all powerful and that he can fail. That is true. That is true. But listen, Mark, I really appreciate you coming up here. And I, um, I appreciate you um, ha having the conversation. Okay, I, okay, I got a few, uh, few more. I got a, another guy who was like, I told him to go get a verse. And um, he's back, so okay, I want to okay. see if he... You have a good evening, brother. You too. You too. Thank you, sir. All right. Oh. Um, okay. This. Let's see if... I think this is the same person who I told him to go get a verse. Let's see if he has the verse now. In the back? Sorry? In the back? Hello? No, no. in the back. No, hello, you, hello, phone user, phone. user, user, user. Are you there? You, 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 did, did you put your file or did you just tell them? BBC oh, no, Monster. BBC Monster. Well, BBC Monster. You want to take a professional fight. That's why I actually started the gym. All right. He's not fights. ready. But I'm pretty sure that was the guy who said that he was going to find a verse that said that these foreigners wanted to be slaves to the Israelites. Um, he said there was multiple verses that say that but when i asked him for the book chapter and verse he couldn't give me one and he came back so but he, i guess he wasn't ready to come back so yeah that's crazy that anyone would want to be a slave is in, uh, insane <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, guys. Um, y'all keep. Oh, hey, why are you opening people's eyes? The saint of Paul. Why are you opening people's eyes, man? These people are blind. This is a the book of Saint Paul. I am the nightmare of Paul. Y'all are doing a good job. Keep it up, guys. I'm just playing with y'all. Well, I appreciate the. Hey, keep it up, y'all are. Y'all are the words. I don't know what I y'all are so y'all are so good, man. Keep keep it up. Y'all are doing keep, a very good job. Keep what up? Keep what up? Like wh it's what are we doing? The Bible, the devil book, the devilish book. Oh, oh, keep it okay. up, my brother. Keep it up. Y'all are doing a really good job. I have opened my eyes too. I was a uh, uh, supposedly a follower of Christ, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I really opened up my eyes. So that religion is uh fake religion you know what i mean it's a uh human made religion from the S satan paul and um i mean what? i don't understand wait paul's P paul is lucifer yeah ex exactly yeah i, I don't want to uh you know open people's eye but you are doing how a did, good uh, yeah lucifer, how did you come yep. how did you come to the conclusion that lucifer exists but christianity is false Oh, because I started reading the Bible, and then after that, uh, I had answered questions and stuff, right? Uh, there was no answers from the preachers. So I said, what? So, well, what's going on? So I started looking into it, right? So I find out the person, the, the author of the Bible, Mr. Paul, Paul, you know, he, he used to, what he used to do is he's the one that created the book, Bible, right? So... Well, we once don't know he that. tricked everybody, no, no, watch, 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 watch this. So once he tricked everybody, um, after that, he when he got every everybody to everybody to follow the book of the Bible, right? Then he used to kill the Christians and he changed his name. Do you know that? Yeah, I know. I knew Paul used to kill, used to kill Christians. I know that, but yep. I'm confused. Like, are you saying name, so the people that were blind already that uh, you know they don't find out? Wait, this is the same Paul. Wait, why? Did hold he on, his hold name? on. Are you saying are you saying that Christianity is false or the Bible is false? The Bi the Bible. Okay, so you're still a Christian. You still believe that Jesus no, is the Lord Savior? No, not after what you're exposed, right? Because if I'm a follower of the the Bible, uh, I mean the Trinity, right? Makes no sense. So, so why do you still believe? If you don't believe that Christianity, I don't believe. I don't believe in. I don't believe in it. Well, then why do you still believe in that Lucifer is real? Uh, who, who, who's this devilish person that's, uh, I mean, sh taking the virgins and everything? I mean, come on. So you believe, I, you believe Satan exists, but not uh, the Christian God? Yeah. 
Yeah, of course, of course. But you can't. There, there gotta be a what? Satan. Why is there evil? Who is versus who? So, so there is no God, but there is right. what? Exactly. In why is there evil in this world? Why? Why? Uh, answer my question. Why is the prayers I kept praying never came true? But when it comes to bad, is the first thing that happens to me. So are you? So you believe that Satan is real? Yes. But there is no God. There is no Jesus. Exactly. Yes. What? That yes. makes no. That makes no sense to me. I mean, if it makes sense, because the thing is, no, the it doesn't. Right? I'm How not can you? That is God. Days. But, days. Can, yeah. Does this make sense? Okay, can you explain to me since I opened my I eyes? Think, I think. Uh, I don't know. How I can you? He's heading in the right direction for sure. I just think that maybe this is coming. Or there might not be a Satan. I mean, I might be wrong, but what was yeah, this? Yeah, I think. I think this, this based on the blindness. I mean, who is that? Based on what he's experienced, it. It. I think maybe it seems to him like. If anything exists, it's got to be Satan, because this world exactly. is Satan. Like, well, how could there be a Satan but no God? Why is there bad? Why is the prayers I kept praying never came true? But when I asked the preachers yeah, or so the, uh, the Pope or anyone, they said, "Hey, do you don't you have uh, don't you have faith in God?" So I, I said, "Yes," but there's a question right here. And he yeah. said, "Well, you know what? You you get out of my church." Because I have it. <laughs> I think you're. I think you're headed in the right. Oh, uh, I love that. You got kicked out of church. That's awesome. It's, yeah. it's uh -huh. hard. It's hard to let. And this go is of my it. church, right? Yeah, wow. it's hard to let go of it completely. It sounds like you're you're headed in the right direction. Because you're opening <laughs> eyes. I said opening eyes. What you mean? Yeah, but I would I just know. encourage you that like I was kicked out. So, wow. So on on my lives, I don't know if you've ever. You probably never see me, but I do like demon stuff, so I try to get possessed by demons. So exactly, I, that's what I'm saying. I do the that, demon. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So I do that to prove that that this shit is not real. That that Satan is not real. There's no demons out there trying to get you. And the bad yeah. is just a product of people that are just broken. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 okay and so okay. from my experience, so. doing this for for months now, since the end of September of last year. Um, I can tell you that, that Satan is not out there. If he is, he doesn't give a fuck about us. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So that's right. You know what? Thank you for opening my eyes on that. So yeah, I thought man. there was so one, but there isn't one. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Don't don't stress too much about it. Uh, there are bad people, of course. Bad evil still exists in the world, but it's the product of human being just pity. It's not. It's not supernatural. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Evil okay. is so evil exists no because of people like Days. Yeah. <laughs> trying to p play with Ouija boards and yeah. burning exactly. burning Bibles up. That's me. Oh, yeah. Okay, so okay. so don't so don't stress. I know as a Christian and as a believer, and even when I was starting to leave the faith, uh, like I still struggled with kind of what you're describing of like. Like oh, but Satan, you know, yeah. this is Satan. Like like Satan's, you know, at work. The devil's at work. Um, but it took me yeah. a, it took me a while to finally detach myself from that idea, and you know, come to terms with you know, people are just you know shitty and, and awful to each other, and um, it has nothing to do with something that's like something we can't see, something supernatural. So oh, okay, okay. I don't okay. expect you to change Makes your mind sense. immediately, but it's definitely. I encourage you not to stress out too much about. You know, being careful about invisible enemies or anything like that, because it's just not. But uh, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. I think. Well, hey, I'm gonna let you go, House, because you got yes, a lot sir. of background. Hey, appreciate you. Hey, appreciate hey, you for doing that, guys. Keep the good hey, work yeah. up, brothers. Thank you, man. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That was weird to me because, like. It's it's sort of like when you like hearing a Christian say that I believe in God, but the devil's not real. Like that wouldn't make sense, yeah. right? Yeah, no, I and think I, I kind of felt like he was saying I believe the devil's real, but there's no God. I'm like, what? Yeah, no, I think he. Well, he said he was a believer before, and I, so I think he's just in the process of deconstructing. Yeah, and uh, like it, it, you're right, it doesn't really make sense. Like thinking about it, like how could you not believe in God but believe in the devil? Yeah, that's what I was like, what? But it's just something that you're taught from, like, the time that you can understand words that, like, there's this enemy out there that's out there to uh, still kill and destroy is what, you know, you hear so often in the Christian church. And so it's yeah. hard to get away from that, even if you get away from the God idea, I think. And so I think that's what he was kind of struggling with. Because, like, you look out in the world and you see all this horrible shit happening. And you're like, that has to be something that's, like, inhuman. 
you know right he he hasn't like come to like he hasn't come to um grasps with like it's humans that do let's do it that, that yeah, causes all the evil yeah, shit you're kind of like you're kind of uh inclined. it's just humans like we suck we fucking suck yeah we've been awful to each other since we've existed so i yeah but i think yeah i think you'll get there at some point i think he's just going through the motions oh, yeah i think so guys thank you so much for all being here i really appreciate you all hanging out and watching um keep spamming those likes hello uh chaotica hey skits how you doing today I'm good. How are you? Good. I have a favor to ask of you. Okay. There's someone in the comment section that needs something um, explicitly explained. Um, I do believe it's Numbers 31 where um, little girls are involved. Okay. Could you explain how unaliving their entire community, their family, kidnapping them, enslaving them, forcing them to be wives, isn't quote unquote taking care of them? Um, yeah, I've heard that argument before. It's like, well, after they unalive their parents and their brothers and their entire family, what do you want them to do? Just leave them there? And exactly. I, my, my response to that is, yeah, how about you leave them there? If you're going to like, how about you not unalive their family for one? But if you're going to go over there and unalive their family and it's a time of war or whatever, uh, I, I'm in favor of leaving the young virgin girls there as opposed to capturing them. That's, yes. just, my, that's just my thing. I, I, and to, to say that they were taken as wives, I'm sorry, after, uh, as we explained, after unaliving their community, their families, to see this horrific carnage, you think they're going to want to be wives to these well, men well, well they probably were taken as wives but not consensually exactly well, that's what i mean yeah they were forced into marriage probably i mean it was it, like they were capturing these young virgin girls and if you're going to argue well they they weren't forced into marriage they weren't well what's the relevancy of their virginity why, why do they care if they're virgins or not mm -hmm. you know and if you're going to say they weren't touched they weren't sexually assaulted they weren't abused well explain to me the method they would have used to determine which girls were virgins or not you have to look you have to check so they they would have been inappropriately non-consensually touched and that's wrong and that's disgusting and that's what god commanded exactly thank you i've been, I've been trying to um have this conversation in the comments and it's just so much easier to ask you to do it because you can say it much more eloquently than i can you sound really familiar do i uh... it's tammy oh tammy oh okay hey skits yeah i've had you on my lives a lot of times Yes, you have. I just didn't and recognize the, the, the new name, but I recognize the voice. Sorry about that. No, no, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, someone that I've had um, interesting conversations with suggested a name change, and this just seemed to work. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, 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 I hope I can, uh, could have, uh, hope I answered that um, satisfactory for you. Beautifully. And uh, I appreciate it much. Like, hey, Days, how are you doing today, bud? Hey, Tammy. Yeah, I just wanted to say something to it. To the people that are asking about like that specific question in the chat, it it blows my mind that they they seem to forget about the, the little boys that were also unalive uh, during this event. Uh, and, they, and they focus a lot about the them taking the young virgin girls. But like if they were really concerned about taking care of these kids rather than letting them go free or whatever like yeah, that's it, a really good point i always forget like, to make that it point. doesn't like why did they have to why did they have to unalive the little boys too yeah it's, it's that's so an crazy. excellent point everyone just overlooks the fact that the little boys were unalive like it was just the virgin girls if um, yeah if your argument if your argument is well the reason they captured them was because they care about the well-being of the children what are they supposed to do just leave them there well what about the little boys yeah. Well, because little boys grow up to be men. Who yes, will I've heard that. Yep. That's an argument you always hear, too. Yeah, who will take violent vengeance on the people who did this to their nation, to yeah. their families, to their... So God, doesn't, God doesn't want the little boys to use their free will. Exactly. And he wants to just go ahead and snuff them out right, right in there. But at least they're in heaven now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Skits. Uh, I gotta check yeah, out my career. No problem. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Thanks, Tammy. Um, everyone, please 
click that follow button guys right now follow days guys i've seen a couple of comments saying you know what i'm about to follow days yeah follow days days is amazing um uh subscribe to my youtube the link's in the bio guys if you want to watch the full live stream um i have a ton of my full live streams on there that last one we did days that was fun man and i posted it on youtube but it's all it's all fucked up Oh no, I haven't I haven't checked it out, but uh, like, yeah, that was that was fun, <laughs> and I was like, like oh, Skits hasn't been live for a couple of days. I think maybe he uh, he went too hard on the holy waters. During yeah, the- yeah, I was yeah I was hurting a little bit that that next day, but man, I was I was listening back to a little bit of it because I noticed that for some reason it works. Some like like one time it'll work, it'll, the video will play, and then another times it won't play. I don't know. I guess maybe because it was like five hours long. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, um, maybe because it was longer. Like sometimes you go to watch it and it like only plays like the first three minutes and then it stops. But then yesterday I got it to kind of work and I was listening to it and I was like, man, we, me and you were on the same page with the arguments. We were just like, they had the same vibe and it was really, really fun. That, we were really yeah, did a good man, job. Yeah, I had a lot of fun too. I enjoyed doing these. With oh, yeah, it was fun. Especially because I don't have as much time to like set up my, my demon shit right now. Uh, so like doing were, maybe. Is really were, you, fun. were you live earlier? Because when I when I started my live, somebody said you were live. Yeah, I was live like literally like seconds before you went live. I got the notification at the top of my screen while I was like right after oh. I went live because I was live doing like the God confession stuff. I got. Oh the, yeah, yeah, I, I love that. That's funny. <laughs> what when you like when you like, that phone number you put up there? Yeah. What is that like a like is That's, that like a Skype number or something? It's, or? A, it's a Google Voice, so you can get a free phone number through Google. Oh. And you can so, like, like even I, I was wondering that. I was like, oh, he's not. Is that his real phone number? He's no, 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 no. People think that it is though. So like, they'll use my phone number to be like, oh, I see you live in uh, Bakersfield because oh, yeah. like the, <laughs> the uh, area code is Bakersfield. So kids will come up and be like. You live in Bakersfield. Right? Bakersfield. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, come for me, man. <laughs> but no, it's just a, it's a number I made up and uh, the, the one that I used. So. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, that was really fun a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, no, let's see if we can get one more guest here. I, I just got home from work. Um, yeah, no oh, but good news, guys. Today, I was just informed that i'm being transferred to the location that is like six minutes from my house so currently for the past like six years i've been driving about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes to work and back it takes me about an hour and a half to get to work hour and 45 minutes both ways and i just got it informed today that i'm finally being transferred to the location that is like six minutes from my house so it's like three hours of my life i'm gonna get every day back i'm really excited about that that's amazing i work from home so i don't know your struggle i can't imagine man i wish i could work from home yeah i'm, I'm champ definitely. would champ would love if i worked from home huh champ huh champ <laughs> say hi champ let's see you in the chat morgan that's sick yeah i will definitely let you know when i need help with the demon stuff I will, uh, what day? What day are you on right now? Uh, I think, I think I just did day seventy. I, I was gonna say I caught the day sixty-nine. Uh, yeah. one a while back. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool gift. Whoa, giraffe! Thank you, giraffe. Was that for me? I think it was. Yeah. What was Thank that? You, giraffe. That was like a. That was like a road trip. Travel in the U.S. Thank you so much, Giraffe. W Giraffe in the in the chat, guys. Please, everyone. W Giraffe in the chat. Giraffe, you're awesome. Thank you so much. I see you a lot in my lives, and I see you always commenting on my videos and commenting. I appreciate you watching, and thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Oh, that was for the uh, shorter commute time now for my work. Thank oh, you yeah. so much, Giraffe. Thank you. Giraffe, That's awesome. I like your uh, I like your profile picture too. That's my profile picture on Reddit. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, it's just like a weird looking lime. It's like a blue lime. Oh, it's a blue lime. Uh, yeah, or like a lemon. Is it a lemon? Lemon. Lime? Sorry, lemon. Blue yeah, lemon. Lime. Yeah. Is that like an internet thing? Like blue water? I don't know. I just I just found a picture <laughs> somewhere and I thought it looked cool, so I was like, okay, nice. Oh, it's an orange. I think he, I think they're saying oh, it's an, an orange. orange. Oh, it's a blue orange. It's better than a blue waffle. <laughs> Blue orange. <laughs> much, much better than that. 
gosh, man. I don't know how old you are. I would assume you're probably in your late 20s. But, mm-hmm. dude, we had so much. The shit that I found on the internet when I was a kid, I should have not had access to when I was a kid. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. <laughs> like, I'll see some shit on TikTok that, that people will get, like, you know, affected by that will, like, traumatize people. And I'm like, this is nothing. It's like a dude. Yeah, that, I'm, like, totally like, desensitized. Or something. And it's like, bro. The shit I saw I'm is so really desensitized kid. to stuff, bro. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, like some of the stuff I used to see on the internet when I was like twelve. Yeah, has like stuck with me, like like burned into my brain. Yeah, same here. I remember those days. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Well, um. Yeah, I just got home from work, and I, I, I planned on doing maybe about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, but um, I've been live for an hour and 13 minutes, so let's just see. Guys, everyone, please spam the likes right now. Let's see if we can get a couple more guests in here. Um, if you're a Christian in here, uh, you got to have at least 200 followers, and please be 18 plus. So if you have 200 followers and you're 18 plus, please send a guest request. Let's talk about your uh, violent, bloodthirsty God. Let's talk about him. Right? He, he allows slavery. He's totally fine with babies being unalive. He's totally fine with little girls being captured and forced into marriage. Um, He's misogynist. Um, Doesn't care about babies. Doesn't care about pregnant women. He drowns all of them. So if you'd like to come up here and defend your God or talk about any of those things, please send a guest request. You got to have at least 200 followers and you got to be 18 plus. So everyone, please keep spamming those likes right now. Double tap that screen till your thumbs fall off. Share the live with a couple of friends. Follow Days. And guys, if you want to watch the full live streams, please go subscribe to my YouTube. The link's in the bio. Just click the little YouTube button on the bio. It'll take you straight to my YouTube. And guys, go follow my backup accounts. I have my backup accounts linked in my bio as well. So please go follow all of my backup accounts, guys. I got two backup accounts. So I really appreciate all the follows and the shares. And uh, thank you guys for the gifts. So many gifts. And I, I'm sorry if I don't acknowledge every gift. I try my best to, but it's hard to sometimes, especially when you're engaged in a conversation. But I really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out. <clears throat> thank you, Hanji. Oh, I don't know if you guys caught on my way home from work. I was listening. Um, I don't know if anybody's like interested in the um, uh, Theus Brooks. Uh, what's his name? Dean. Theus Brooks and Dean have settled on a date. It's going to be Saturday at five o'clock for a debate. If you guys have been kind of following that, <clears throat> and I, th- I think Parker is going to moderate it, so that should be pretty good. The Theus Brooks, Theus Brooks and Dean, Saturday at five o'clock, I believe is what they settled on this Saturday, five o'clock. And Parker said, it, I think Parker's going to moderate. So it's funny because when Theus Brooks came on, Dean was already on Parker's live, and Brooks came up and they kind of hashed out the details right then and there. And Brooks was like. I only want to talk about the resurrection. He was basically saying, I only want to debate the resurrection. I don't want to debate if Christianity is true or not. Thank you. Thank you, Acadia. Thank you so much. And Dean was like, what? Why don't you, why can't we talk about if Christianity is true or not? And Brooks said that that would give him an unfair advantage. And that was sort of like weird to be like conceding that. Like Brooks is like, oh, if you're going to talk about if Christianity is true, then that that gives you like more advantage. (laughs) So you're conceding that atheists have like an advantage over debating whether Christian Christianity is true or not, and he only wanted to debate the resurrection, I think. I was sort of trying to kind of listen, and I was doing other stuff too, but but yeah, that's going to be pretty cool to watch. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me good? Yeah, I hear you just fine. Hello, sir. Thanks for having me. Um, just one question for the get-go. Do you want, I mean, you're asking why did God allow slavery? Do you seek um, a pure th- uh, theological discussion about that or a pure by the Bible because of Holy Bible, by the book? Uh, when you say theological discussion, what do you mean? 
I mean, I would love, I would love actually to have a conversation about the, the yeah about the theology behind what is God and if God or a creator exists, why exists evil like slavery on a pure conceptual way, if you understand what I mean, not by the scripture. When you say God, do you mean the Christian God? Does it matter? I mean, I'm talking about the creator of everything. Did I pretty much that it hits every definition of God? Yeah, I see, I see what you're saying now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much just looking to speak with Christians who believe that the, the Bible is the you know true word of God. But if you, um, you're, look, you're looking to have a discussion as to why is there evil if there is a God? That's what it boils, to, right? it boils down to, right? Why is, there slave, why, is there, why is there evil in the world? That's the basic question you're asking, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. If, do you believe that your God is all good? Um, I mean, I have to say that. I'm, I'm not a Christian. I mean, I'm, I'm a follower of Christ, but I would not define myself as a Christian. That's a, that's why, do, the, why do so many Christians not want to be labeled as Christian? That, uh, because it is so overwhelmed and so overshadowed by the church, the churches, church fathers, and this has nothing to do with the original Christ, Christian Christians. Um, but I I, let, I me, let me just try to give in a little bit, um, just one, one line about that. I mean, I mean I, I'm sure you heard this a, th a thousand times before me, that the, everything boils down pretty much to the, to the, um, to the free will that the creator of everything has to give humans in this case to have a real world without a simulation and in this world there must be the opposite of what you what we could we would consider as good and justice and righteousness because if there wasn't a choice then there was no then there was nothing i mean that's that's basically the point where it boils down to right well, if there was not the option of free choice to do to do the opposite of what we consider righteousness then we would have nothing. We would have well, just a simulation. So I, so I have a couple of arguments that I could run against that. I guess I would say, like, you, you, you said you think you said that your God is all good. So, like, does your does your all good God value the choice to do evil? No, absolutely not. So then, why does He give us the choice to do evil? I just explained that to you, sir. Without the choice, there would be nothing. We would have a running simulation. Well, does your God have free will? Yes, absolutely. Does your God ever do evil or sin? I, I would, I, of course not. I mean, it's hard to argue with what would God do outside if you're really, if you're really talking about the conceptual idea of a creator of everything well, that includes it, the definition that he is outside of our world. So all of our understanding yeah, and concepts yeah, don't but if, really matter. But if, you, if your God is all good, it would logically follow that it would be outside of his nature to do sin or to do evil because he's all good. It wouldn't even be po possible for your all good God to commit evil. No, it wouldn't be possible. Let's, let's, but let's stay in the Bible here. It was, has been written that we were created in his image, which actually <clears throat> brings us to the guideline of righteousness, what we consider why we actually acknowledge slavery as evil, why we can say this is bad, this is wrong. Yeah, but so I just, of course I'm, I'm we know what's out. right. I'm just trying to point out that the like the fact that your God can't do evil and still has free will uh, demonstrates that your God could have created us. He could have created a universe where we also have free will and we can't do evil or do sin. No, absolutely not. That's a completely logic false analogy. No, if no, because it is. God, God, God has free will and he never he cannot do evil. But it does, the fact that he cannot do evil does not infringe on his free will. Right. Imagine a world. By, by, Hold by, on, sir, by, I just by asked you a question. I just asked you okay. a question. What was the question? The fact that God cannot do evil does not infringe on his free will, right? That God? Can't repeat that, please. God has free will, but he cannot do evil, correct? He absolutely could do evil, I think. No, by no our because definition. he's all good. He, he, because he's all good. He could, it would yes. be outside. It would not be within his nature to do evil because he is all good. If your God is capable of doing evil things, then he is not all good. Yes, okay, I agree on that. Okay, if we say God created us in his image and he is, he, but, but some people would call it he is justice, he is love. Yes, okay, all derives from God. Everything good derives from God, okay? Yeah, your God is all good. He cannot do evil and he still has free will. Are we, are we on the same page? Okay, yes, okay. We agree on that, that one. That means that God could have created us where we have free will, but we cannot do evil. It would logically follow. Because if God, no. if logic if logic applies to God, then logic certainly applies to us, right? I mean, he's God, but he's still bound by logic. So. Okay, let's let's think that through, actually. And for, from our, our from our current position of what we consider good, good, evil, and what we think is logical fallacies, imagine a world 
there would be no evil and we wouldn't even know what evil actually is nobody would know what we consider evil right now then there is no more choice there is nothing there is a simulation again it would be just in, it would be a prepared it'd be just plan. like it'd be just like god's uh, god cannot do evil but he still has free will but everybody would be a puppet here it would just play a role so then by your logic god is a puppet because because god no, no, has free we, we are the puppets we no by your puppets. logic by your re your reasoning your logic god is a robot god is a puppet because he has free will but he can't do evil so if you're saying that if we could have free will, but we could never do evil, that would make us puppets or make us robots. It, it, why, I, I don't understand why you always bring it back to the Creator Himself. When a cre when because if this applies to God, then it also applies to us. Let's let's bring this in a human context. This is a little bit off, actually, but uh, this is an old example. You can create a computer simulation. You can be the creator of a simulation, and if you put everything in the simulation, and you 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 do something, what you consider from your current knowledge would be something of bad or you don't want to have that you just leave it out of your simulation so every sim in this in this simulation would never know what it is you wouldn't even have an idea of what, what that is that thing god that you don't like that. god could have yes done yes that. he could have done it but then the yeah. sims in our simulation they would be just a simulated running show then that's exactly what god is then no why you can he can like why can't why could the creator create a world of his will or not, if, not, not if even you're will. saying if you're saying that if we were to have free will but we could never do evil that that would make us puppets then god is a puppet because god has free will but he cannot do evil no i'm not on the same page here you're, you're just saying we are saying here yeah. okay if if a being if a being has free will but can't choose evil is that being a puppet yeah okay Absolutely. D does god have free will and can he choose evil he the concept of evil i think we have sir, a problem no no let's we have sir. to define no no so we have to define evil first then if you want oh, to be asked okay, the now, question okay, now we got to define evil okay yeah of course because if, if in the strictest sense then again evil is the opposite of god the absence of the creator of his will of his original being that's like well, light i don't and agree shadow. with that i don't agree with that definition because i would because and i would say that if god is all good but evil things happen then your god is not good your god is evil so the opposite of God would not be evil. I don't think we are really having the same, or we have the same concepts in mind when we're using the words. Again, in in my definition, okay, I can just. You're, you're not my really definition. being. You're not being logical here because if a being has free will, if there's a being that has free will but cannot choose evil, makes that being a puppet then that makes God a puppet because God is a being that has free will, but he can't choose evil. So why would God choose, is a puppet. Why would he say that he chooses evil then? then by creating, he can't, by creating no, no, his... No, he can't choose evil because he's all good. He cannot choose evil. Yes, he's he all cannot good. choose. He might be. He cannot choose evil. But why can't he create a world which hasn't been there in existence before? And he does want to have a creation that does not follow what just he dictates. What, what he has planned for them. You're, you're he wants God, to you're, prove, he wants to see basically if these, his own creation is following his image, but they have to have the option to not follow his image. What's so hard to understand in that? Because without, your God is, without that option, there cannot, be, there cannot be a righteous one. There can be nothing. Right, but that's just like how God is. Like God is all good, he's all righteous, and he, and he can't choose evil. So, yeah, that, but we that, can. so 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 this this all powerful god of yours could have created a universe where we also have free will and we can't choose evil and it would not infringe on our free will it wouldn't make us puppets. it would change it make everything us, it would change everything your god because could he, have, could, could your god have done that could your god have made a universe where yes, we were all absolutely yeah, absolutely yes. so not, that's not, so don't, i think so, don't, so don't your argument for my your god argument. You're Hold talking on. about conceptual things here. Of course you could imagine a world where Sir, a creator of this world creates a world without evil, what we conceptualize as evil, but then it would be very predefined, predefined, um, it's very, very determined and before everything begins actually, how everything rolls out. This is exact, exactly the point the, where the we argument, disagree. The, the argument that the, the explanation for evil is that we have free will falls flat on its face the second that you concede that God has free will but cannot choose evil. I don't agree with that. Because again... Because your God could have created us the same way. No, he could not. <laughs> what? That's so hard to understand. Your, your, that, God, your God could not have made a, a, a being that has free will and cannot choose evil. 
we're talking about, you would talk about e or beings that wouldn't even have a clue what evil is. There would yeah, be your God could have done that. Yes, he could have done that. But yes, then I told exactly. you now the, I that's told the, you now the five, sir, fifth sir, time, sir, it would that's be a simulation, sir. It would sir, be listen, a predefined simulation. The whole then. point is your God could have done that. So that means that there, the explanation for evil being free will makes no sense. Because your God could have created a universe where we I don't all think have... The, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to tell you here. If, if a creator, and I, I, I really don't like the definition by my God, but if a creator, I'm still talking conceptual well, things God. here, if, if a creator of this world or any world whatsoever would create beings without a special ability, without property, without, with mm -hmm. very limited options, basically, then it would be a simulation, which would be completely defined from A to Z, from beginning to ending. This which is exactly what is completely not creation. If we follow the books, at least, he wanted to have beings in his image, which have the absolute free choice that includes the choice to go against him. Well, first of all, that's not mentioned anywhere in scripture. And how do you know that God? Well, gives I you made you in your image. It's pretty much in my image. It's pretty much yeah, but what it how defines. How do you know that, though? How do you know that? What do I know? How do you know that? How do you know that? God, like we're made in God's image. Well, but that is that that has been written in Scripture. He made yeah, us but in you, His but image. But you said you didn't. But you said you didn't want to have a biblical discussion. You want to have a theology. no. I just wanted to at least give you a little bit insight of that. Well, 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 we can, we leave it out. You can't okay. use the Bible without using the Bible. How do you know that okay. we're made in God's image? Leave it out. Leave that away. It's still the same. It's still the same. It's, by the way, the same same logic is pretty much sound here. If you create a known world or any world, and you create beings in this world, which you restrict of the option to go against everything that you like or what you are even in your very existence, then it is not a free world. It's like an it is like complete a simulated sim show. That's exactly like God is. God has free will, but he cannot choose evil because he is all good. So this all powerful God could have made a universe where we were all just like that. No, it wouldn't make us it, it, so here. so so do we have free will in heaven then? Could we choose evil in heaven? Do we have free will in heaven? Uh, yeah, I think so. Do, if, do again, we if have, you, now do going we have free will in heaven or are we all just puppets? Now you're going back to scripture, which you just denied on me. But, but on scripture, that is actually what it says, right? The first, the first being which, which, go, which went against the will of the creator was, by the scripture, was Lucifer, the devil. He went against God. Yes. So we could choose to do evil in heaven is what you're saying. I like it. Scripture, scripture says uh, Lucifer went against God and he was the first fallen angel. So like the most evil thing you can think of, somebody could commit that evil act while they're in heaven. I don't know how do you want to define that. It's just the, 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 it always stays the same principle. Like, a, like a child being a child being graped. Could, could a child be graped in heaven? I think if you want to go that in detail, I would have said it's, it would exactly happen like it happened in scripture. It mind the devil was like casted out of heaven, right? He was can like the ultimate, be, can a child the, be ultimate in the ultimate punishment, right? He was casted out for that evil, for going against the will of his own creator. Could a person, of could, could a person freely choose, could, could a person in heaven use their free will to freely choose to grape a child in heaven? No, I don't have that. That's, that's the point of this discussion. I don't even know if in heaven... Do, the discussion is, persons, do we have free will in heaven? Do we have free will in heaven? That's yes, what I'm trying to get. Yes, I answered that. That's exactly so, what scripture So a person, a person could grape a child in heaven? I don't know if there are persons in, in, in that conceptual, what we consider, what you consider as persons and children and how in our materialistic way it's a pretty hard statement, a pretty big stretch to, to claim well, that. To ask what you're saying is... What the answer is, yes, there's free, free will in heaven too, obviously. So then what's the purpose of heaven? What's the purpose of, of being on earth if, if you can just go to heaven and do all the same terrible shit you did on earth? I guess you cannot, if you, if you want to think this through. Oh, so we're all just robots in heaven then? We're all just puppets in heaven? No, if you want to, th if you, if you want to think this through, you could actually imagine that what happened in the beginning of creation with the, with the, with the falling of Lucifer, or the devil, that this is just like actually an, an, a test, a, a trial, that only if you don't if go you're, against your God, is, God. If your God is testing beings or putting beings on trial, then what you're saying is that God is not all-knowing. Oh, not a trial in that case that you have like, you, you, you has like what, well, what you God consider as a trial. If your God's running a test, then your God's not all-knowing. 
No, it's just the outcome of this thing would be that no one would go to heaven after this world who would actually commit crimes or would do evil in that what we consider evil. But you just said we have free will in heaven. We had free will in heaven. I'm not, I'm not, I cannot tell what, what happened after the, by scripture, the downfall of Lucifer, if, that's, if that is still the same allowness of, of angels or whatever beings might be oh, in look. heaven. I, I, I disregard the explanation for evil being free will. I disregard that because logically your God cannot do evil and it does not infringe on his free will. The fact that your God cannot commit evil does not infringe on his free will. Your God cannot commit evil and he still has free will. Your God is all powerful, so he could have created us the same way if he wanted to. I this all powerful God could have created a universe where we all cannot do evil and we still have free will. And I still agree, sir. But then in this yes, world. Yes, so that's it, why your yeah. explanation for free will being, being the cause of but evil you have to makes no sense. But you have to acknowledge in this world where, where from without our knowing what evil actually is from our perspective now, in this world without evil, it would just be, you, you could watch whatever a simulation evil? show. It wouldn't would be, you say it that wouldn't, killing wouldn't babies is if, evil? Excuse me? Would you say that killing babies is evil? It is evil, definitely even, evil. Even when, even when God commands it? You won't get to go back to scripture now, I guess. <laughs> I I don't believe in the Old Testament. If you want to go on that, oh, I don't believe in the Old Testament. So so Genesis one one, Genesis the very first verse in the Bible, Genesis one one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You're saying you don't believe that? Well, no. Yeah, but if, I mean I don't. Let's 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 rephrase it. I don't believe that the book, the Old Testament, is. No, you don't believe that. You don't believe yeah. that because you don't believe the Old Testament. So you don't believe God created that. Let me clarify. I don't believe that the book is really that what it was in the well, how it should be. That was altered. Uh, the, the chances for that are so the too Bible's high. Not, so the Bible is not reliable at all. And especially because the Old Testament is pretty much has nothing to do with Christians or Christianity. It's about eighty percent the Torah of the Jews. So you th so is your position that the Bible is completely unreliable? The Old Testament, I just I don't trust in the Old Testament. That's why I said it from the get go. What? So it's not, the it's not reliable. So, so like eighty percent of your Bible is unreliable, but the other twenty percent is reliable. Because isn't the well, Old Testament like isn't the Old Testament like eighty percent of the Bible? Uh, I wouldn't say that. The New Testament, I mean, eighty percent of the new, of the Old Testament. Like the is, Old Testament's like this, and the New Testament's like this. Uh, so like, yeah, I wouldn't go on percentages here. I don't know, to be honest. I'm just saying that. So the how do you determine? So like you're in like if you can't determine which parts of the Bible are reliable or not, then you have to say the whole Bible is unreliable. Yeah, the Old Testament is in my in my perspective at least. <laughs> so so then if if Genesis one one in the Old Testament, if that's an if that's unreliable, how do you know that God created the heavens and the earth? As I just, I, I can I can repeat myself now for the next twenty minutes. I just said, I just said that I don't believe in the reliability of the book. It might be wrong, of course. No, Everything no, no, might no, be no, wrong no. Then. How do you, if Genesis one one is unreliable, the Old Testament's unreliable. So when Genesis one one yeah. says that God created the heavens and the earth, that's not reliable. You, yeah, we don't. It might, we, it, so it, so it how might do be you, wrong too? <laughs> yeah, well, you've already said that. You said that the Old Testament is is garbage, pretty much. You said it's it's not reliable. You don't believe in any of the Old Testament. So no, I'm actually saying that, that the Old Testament pretty much describes what most people would consider exactly what we already talked about, the devil. So how do you, so how do you know that God created the heavens and the earth if Genesis 1-1 is unreliable? Well, obviously we are here, aren't we? That's not an answer. That is a perfect answer, I think. No, because <laughs> like, like the fact that we're here, how do you know that that's because of the Christian God and not like like Allah or you know the Hindu gods or you know like yeah, Zipsop yeah. That's, or that's, why, that's why I came into the discussion by not claiming that I want to I, I would necessarily talk about the, the so the what God are what God, God are you talking about then I'm just saying that this world in my world you don't even know what God you don't even know what God you believe in I would say in my from my experience my worldview and even my of course I have written I have read all of scripture but from my experience and my belief system, I'm pretty convinced that this world was not by chance or is just pooped into existence. So we have a yeah, creation. But sir, but sir, there's like 4,000 gods out there. So which one are you choosing? Yes, yes. And that's why exactly I started the discussion of if we want to have a theistic uh, conversation or specifically about the, but, the book. But, but the New Testament is reliable. So therefore, you think Jesus is your Lord and Savior. So you do believe in the Christian God. Well, I didn't but even how say do you that. Know 
Yes, you do, because the, you believe the New Testament. You believe that Jesus sacrificed himself for our sins. And I didn't say that either. I just you did. Said, you said the old. You said you don't believe in the Old Testament, but you believe in the New Testament. Well, I didn't say that, sir. I just said I don't really. I don't think the Old Testament is a reliable book. Or is the, is the New actually, Testament reliable? It's borrowed to huge parts of completely a different religion, is and the, the New, New Testament is like literally a history book if you want to claim it, like written so by New, four people. So the New Testament is reliable. No, just saying it's more like a history book written by four people: Luke, Mark, uh, Matthew, and John. <laughs> And they just no, they sir, described, no, the go we don't know who the Gospels were. The Gospels were anonymous, and all that shit was written decades after Jesus supposed even existed on the earth. No, it is it is uh, what are you, whatever no. what are you claiming? Here? This is actually pretty much uh, as as far as historical facts can go. This is actually cross reviewed and actually con confirmed by other sources, even to the Romans and to Islamic uh, writers and historians. Mm. There must. There is very much. There are, truth. there are no first century writings that that talk about Jesus at all. Yeah, great. So, actually, as far as historic history uh, can go and prove things, this is actually the most reliable but, piece of history. But the book fact we have. that you're this is the, what you're do, this is what you're doing. You're saying I believe in the Christian God, but I don't oh, believe. I didn't in say the that. I didn't even say yeah, that. Yes, either. you do. You said that you believe in that like, the New Testament is reliable. No, I didn't say that. When did I so, say that? So the, I said the, I'm the, following. The, no, when I asked you, when I asked you, is the Bible unreliable? You said only the Old Testament. No, no, no. I said the Old Testament. Yes, the Old Testament. I think is unreliable because but, it is too but much. The New Testament is true. Right? Horrible things in there, and it's borrowed from another religion, but which has new, nothing to do new, with Christianity. The New Testament is true, right? And the New Testament, I didn't say anything about it actually, is written. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, is the New Testament true? I just told you, it is written by four people giving the historical view on the on the events that happened is about the true? man we call Jesus Christ. Is it true? And I can't tell if it's true. I believe at least by, by so the, then the So then, listen, you just told me that you can't tell if the New Testament is true and that you don't believe in the Old Testament, right? You can't tell if the New Testament's true, and you don't believe in the Old Testament. So let me ask you again, is the Bible reliable? Again, the Old Testament isn't reliable. <laughs> it's a different book. It's a completely Sir, different book it is, from a different me, religion. Me, listen, listen. Multiple books, you, actually. You don't, you don't believe in the Old Testament, and you don't know if the New Testament is true. Is the Bible reliable? <sighs> what is the Bible? Everything considered, you put everything together as the Bible. <sighs> Is that what you want to hear? All the books, sir. all the different books. <laughs> sir, this is what you're doing. I don't, I don't believe in the Old Testament, and I don't know if the New Testament is true, and I also don't know if the Bible is unreliable or not. Well, like, I just give you the answer the to Bible all the questions. The Bible is not, the Bible is said, not reliable. Let, in your worldview. Let, let me finish, let me finish one line, then you might understand it. The Old Testament is firstly to 80% something borrowed from another religion with a complete different everything set of worldview a few things came into came came into in, into what was new in the old testament i think it's not reliable information at all because it's describing okay. a horrible horrible the bible horrible, is horrible, not reliable horrible the bible. god the, bible the new is testament not the new testament is written basically by few uh, by four guys you don't guys. know if it's true you don't know if the new testament is true what do you want to hear? You, well, you've, of course, you, you, I, can't, I, can't, I cannot give you. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I can prove you, that to right, you. Right. So you've told me. This is what you've told me that you don't believe the Old Testament, and you don't know if the New Testament is true. So how can you not? So it's a it's a no. The the Bible is not reliable. Well, that's what we call belief system. But I said from the get go, I didn't really want to make an argument about the Bible. More like from a theoretical or theological yeah, perspective. Yeah, but then, but then we have to narrow down which God you're talking about here, because you can't just say God. There's like 4,000 gods. And so yes, you, you said you, really believe, you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, but you're not a Christian. I didn't even say that, by the way. What, what did you, <laughs> no, what did you, you're putting, what, you're putting, you, lots, you first, you're putting, you're putting shit, lots well, of words in my mouth. Here. When you first joined the live, you said something like, uh, I'm, a follower said, of, I'm a follower right. of the teachings of Jesus Christ. Right, right, right. You're a follower of Christ, but you're not a Christian. That's what you said. So if you're a follower of Christ, then you lean towards the Christian God. I just took what we have on historical facts, as we can name them as historical facts, by four people describing what happened you're, in that you're day. You're a Christian. You're a Christian. What, what you, believe, you believe in the Gospels. You believe in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and you follow Jesus' teachings. You are a Christian. And what makes you even more Christian is the fact that you don't believe no. the Old Testament. No, no, no. That's wrong. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's totally wrong. You are, a Christian. you are a Christian if you if you buy the whole book, including the Old Testament. That's the definition of a Christian. Did Jesus die on the cross for your sins? 
Mm, I wouldn't say that. No. Have you so ever heard about? Did you ever heard about the Cathars? The Cathars, I guess, in English. The, no. the Cathars was like a group of people who lived in the 10th and 11th hundreds <laughs> after Christ, and they were you're, actually. Somebody said you're an agnostic and you just don't know it yet. No, no, no. The Cathars. They, they actually said, actually, they, they have this belief system. They had this belief system that the Old Testament is basically describing the devil. The New Testament is a historical book from people who have lived with the Jesus the Christ. And they actually okay. were, they were killed by the church for that, to the hundreds of thousands, burned alive, because they were heretics, of course. That's basically where this comes from. People who, who, who claim they were following the teachings of Christ on every moral aspect you can imagine, but they decline the scripture in, in many, many aspects, because this is just what the church gave us, basically, so, in, the third hundred, in the third century. So if, if the Bible is not reliable, you don't, you don't believe in the Old Testament, and you don't know if the New Testament is true, why do you think there's a God? Well, I believe enough that the, new, that the, that the historical events described in the New Testament are the truth. I believe so, that so enough. Jesus died on the cross. Yes, he died on the cross <laughs> for your, for your sins. <laughs> no, not for my sins. He died on the well, cross so, basically. So, Je so Jesus because, died for nothing. Jesus because, died for nothing. No, he didn't die for nothing. What did Jesus Je die for? What did Jesus, Jesus die for? or the if 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 you want to hear my worldview on that, I can happily explain that to you. If you want to, the point Wait, of just tell the me life really, of just the cross. Tell me, just tell me really quickly. What did Jesus die for? He showed us what it means to be human. As, as we just, by dying? As we just by dying? On. No, he showed us what a human being in the, image, in the image of God should be like. That's what the point of the whole Jesus thing was, in my worldview. Okay, he showed so us, Jesus, Jesus didn't die for your sins, he died to show you what it's like to be human? Yes, he was the ultimate role model. What does that even mean? He was the ultimate, yeah, but what does it mean? He was the role model for all humanity. And by, by telling everybody the truth. How is he face, a role model when he says to hate your children in order to follow him? He says, I, I, I didn't come to bring a peace. I come to bring a sword. I'm going to turn your family against you. Yes, that's what I just, again. again um, that's being a role model for humanity to hate your children? I wouldn't really, at the, at first of all, we have to agree here. I mean, you're a bit very dishonest, yes, sir. Because no, that's we, what the Bible you, says. That's what the New Testament says. Yes, Luke 14, yes. Luke 14, 26, Jesus says. But if you, you really your... want to talk scripture, then you have to agree that. Wait, how is that every, being a role? How is that being a role a role model? That almost everything that Jesus said by the historical, um, what we know about him, what people wrote, wrote about him, was never meant literally. Never, almost never. So everything it, was when, okay, so everything was parables. Said, Everything so, was like uh, uh, was like a literal picture, a speech of pictures. So I wouldn't take anything so literal. So Jesus is not. So you, Jesus is not God, right? He is pretty much. He's he, like what? What he we're is saying. God. Jesus is God. He, so yes, so, he is God, and he is God in this world. The man, the flesh, the flesh, God okay. in the flesh. Yes. Okay. So in so in Genesis one one in the beginning God created the heavens. Thank you for the ten dollars on Cash App, Sandra. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, w Sandra in the in the in the comments. Thank you so much. Jesus is God. So in Genesis one one in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Is that Jesus? I I don't want to talk about the Old Testament. I told you. Well, but That's Jesus is God though. You just said Jesus is God. Well, I believe that G that God actually yeah come into a human human in human form into this world to actually as I said it to How show do you know us, that? How do you know that though? I believe it. I believe it. But because why do you believe the, of, that? Of the writings of John, Luke, Matthew. No, no, God. those could no, those could all be parables. That doesn't actually mean when it, when 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 the, when the when the New Testament says that Jesus came down in the flesh as God, that's just a parable. It doesn't actually. Yeah, mean I told that. you that's what belief. You means just said that. everything. At some, at, on some point, you said everything you have, in the New Testament is parables. At some point, you have to you have to make the leap to believe, not just because of your own experiences in this world, but of course you have. To, at some point, you have to. This don't. Like it, a, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be belief system either. Giant anyways, cherry right? picking here. Yes, it is a cherry picking. I agree in that because because the books, the Bible we have well, again was put to was put together by the church fathers in the third century. That's a big problem. But again, I believe that the what was written, even if it may be what even if maybe it was altered in in any way or whatever, it very much possible. But still, there is enough things that I would believe in the life of the Christ and what happened to Jesus the Christ because he told everybody the truth. He died actually for his believings. He has no. He had no problem, and he, there's no there's no wrongdoing in Jesus. 
There is you cannot justify he anything what hate, you consider evil. He said to evil. hate your kids. He said to hate your kids. I mean, I don't even. Can you please quote that for me again? Where he Luke, said, Luke fourteen, Luke fourteen twenty six. Anyone that comes to me and wishes to be my follower, you must hate your parents. You must hate your 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 partner. You must hate your children. Yes, you must even hate your own life in order to be worthy of following me. I'm pretty much. Uh, I, I, I definitely will look into that. If that's really on all translations. Yes. Uh, yeah, the same thing but I mean, if, even, if you're if you're going to counter and say well it's a parable it's an, it doesn't mean that well what do you think it means when jesus well, says to love your jesus, when jesus says to hate your kids what does that actually mean if it does if first, it's not first of all i said most of what jesus words described was like um, um picture image like he described pictures and parables yes and secondly i mean there are like how many different translations of the bible like 27 or something and they vary huge by wording and by terminology so I really want to well, check that on every I, I or on most of these translations. I appreciate the honesty and I appreciate that you at least admit that, you, that yes, there is some cherry picking going on here. Um, can, can, I, can, I, can I ask you one question in return? I think you, you consider yourself an atheist? Are you completely yeah, against Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not convinced that there's any gods that exist, but just real quick, I just want to see if Hanji has something to say really fast. before. I do. Ask. What's up, Hanji? Um, all right, so... Feather, you, first off, you have the dates all wrong. Um, when it comes to the New Testament, it was written in my language, Kioni Greek, in the second century. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John never wrote their own books. It is no, anonymous. I didn't have it wrong. I didn't have it wrong with them. In the third century, the in, in, in Nikkei, I think it was, where the church fathers put together what is and what is the not. The church the fathers didn't exist yet until the fourth century. It doesn't matter. Century. In the third, in the third does, century, the sir, church put together. I am see. <sighs> These Christian men, when it comes to women who actually have a brain and want to speak, I am trying to be <laughs> nice here, so let me talk. Okay. The New Testament was written <coughs> in the second century. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John never wrote their own books. Okay? So we have no evidence. It is anonymous as far as those Gospels are concerned. Now, when it comes down to Jesus, we don't know if he was even a real person or if he didn't exist at all due to the writings of Paul. Okay? Did Paul you ever hear about the Roman Council of Nietzsche? Malaka! Did you ever hear about the Council Sir, of Nietzsche? I am talking. I am not done. Yes, but you completely wrong. I am not just completely hold on, just wrong just... for the simple fact that this is my fucking language, sir. Yes, you're putting wrong things in my mouth. No, I'm not. Put I'm not putting anything in your mouth. I'm giving you actual facts. Yes, and I'm asking you. I am you? Greek. Of course, I'm going to speak on Greek shit. Stop interrupting. Now, Adam, you don't have to tell me anything, not in that word. If you unmute one more time, I will just kick you for yes, the simple that. fact show, that you don't yes, know how to be it. respectful. You know what? Go. <sighs> I oh, tried. Him out? I did. He wouldn't let me even get a fucking <clears throat> word in. <sighs> you can bring him back up. I'm trying to tell him the truth that he is spewing bullshit when it comes to the new testament we actually have real dates for this testament we know the language that it was written in we know where the basis is and we do know that Mar matthew mark luke and john are anonymous writings he wasn't trying to hear any of that i couldn't even get one sentence in these these malakas yes that's okay. I, I was I was getting ready to wrap up the conversation with him and in the live anyways. I only, only wanted to be live for about two hours, and I'm coming up oh. right on two hours right now. So, you know, and my thing is, is that how can you say that you're? Hey, Justin, baby, how can up, you Justin? say w that Justin. you are a follower of Christ, but you don't believe in the Bible? You're not Christian. Well, he admitted he was cherry he, he he was honest about that he was cherry picking. He said that he said he doesn't believe the Old Testament. But, and he doesn't know if the New Testament's real, and that he follows Jesus' teachings, and that he doesn't know if Jesus actually died on the cross, and he doesn't believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Um, he believes that Jesus died on the cross to show us what it is to be human. I, I don't even know. What does that even mean? What? Yeah. So he, yeah, I was, you know, I was here this whole time, and I'm just like, okay, contradiction on top of contradiction. 
Um, and not only that, does he not know that they that Jesus actually didn't die for anyone's sins? He got unalived because he was a false messiah. Yeah, Jesus was like, walking around. <laughs> Jesus was walking around being blasphemous, and he broke the law, and they executed him for it. And that's it. Exactly. That's the end of the story, guys. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not that it's not that hard to understand um also there uh kyle when it comes to the biblical sources of the new testament there is a jewish website um i'll try and get there for you where they actually do talk about when the new testament came into play i will see if um i can get that resource for you i should have it saved in my um source file on my um apple so i got you but yeah i just i just wanted to tell him the truth and apparently they don't they don't know how to listen to truth they just want to listen to their own it's okay uh, don't let them, don't let them get you riled up i know and i was being nice i was being nice until he kept talking over me like, <laughs> uh, anyways all right i love you skits uh that's what i came up here for was just to tell him the truth about the new testament love you too hanji Thanks so much for coming up here. I appreciate you. And thanks for sticking around and watching. I, I really appreciate it. I thanks for the, and thanks for the finish, gifts. My dear. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And thanks for the gifts, too. W. Hanji, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to end the live right now. That's going to be it um, for the night. I have to get dinner going and um, I have to get up at four in the morning to go to work. Sad. Ooh. Let me guess another six days. Uh, today is my second day back, so I got uh, four more days. Ooh. Well, yep. definitely get some rest. But I just got transferred to the location that's like f six minutes from my house. So, like after I get this hitch over with, um, I'll I'll get to like sleep in a little bit more because it takes me about an hour and forty five minutes to get to work where I'm currently working at. So I have to wake up earlier, mm -hmm. you know. Well, are, uh, oh, I was going to say, are you? actually like when are you starting like closer to home is that this month or is that on the on the 21st but oh, i'm going okay. but i'm going i'm going straight from day shift to night shift because the the crew that i'm getting transferred with the crew that i'm getting transferred to is currently working nights so i'm gonna on the 21st i'll be transferred over there and work three nights and then i'll be off for three days and go back to my six days on, off for three, six nights on, off for three, six days on, back and forth, back and forth. Oof. But but oh. but when I now when I clock out, I'll be home in six minutes. So I could like I'll be home sooner, so I can have more time to go live. I'll be able to go live more often, as opposed to like getting off and driving for two hours to get home, and then I'm really tired when I get home, you know. And it's the same line of work. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same same like same work. I've just a different location. I got transferred to the one that's like. I just had to like wait for a spot to open up to get transferred to the one that's like close to my house. So, hey, at least you were able to get that. You know, a lot of people will wish that they were closer to home. I had to wait six years for the spot to open up. I was on the that list. That shows for, that you deserve it. I was on the list for six years, and then finally, it's the spots opening up. So, hey, when skits in the chat? Yeah. It's gonna be nice to just clock out and be home within six minutes. It's like three hours of my life back every day I get. Cause it takes me an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes to get to and back to, for, to work and then same coming back home. So. Oh yeah. Well, you know, something is better than nothing. Yep. But I agree. all right, Skits, I'll let you go. Love you. All right, Hanji. Thank you for, thank you for coming up. Appreciate you. Of course. All right, guys, everyone, thank you so much for being here. Click the click the follow button, guys, if you've enjoyed this live stream. This has kind of been a short live stream, but I hope you guys have been entertained by it. I just want you guys to be entertained. Um, yeah, so everyone, please click the follow button. Please go follow all of my backups in my bio. I have all of my backup link links in my bio. And also, while you're there looking at my bio, please subscribe to my YouTube if you want to watch the full live streams. Um, I have, like... A bunch of my live streams posted on my YouTube, so please go subscribe to my YouTube. I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers. Um, I think I might have already hit 300. I'm not sure. But uh, stay breezy. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. And all the guys in the guest box, I'm sorry. Uh, um, not a very long live tonight, guys. Just a couple hours. But I appreciate you all being here, and I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to talk to you. But click that follow button if you guys want to get a chance to talk to me next time. Um...
I really appreciate you guys. Thanks, guys. Skits raid. Uh, yeah, we could do a skits raid. Who who's live? Who's live right now, guys? Anybody anybody good that's live right now? We could do a skits raid on really quick. I need like I need to get TikTok on my laptop so I can see who's live. A skits raid is where we go to somebody who's live right now and we just type in skits raid. Joyful, Joyful's live. You guys all follow Joyful Apostate. Let's go um let's go raid Joyful. Like everybody, please. There's like 160 there's 170 people here right now. Everybody hop over to Joyful Apostate and type in skits raid right now. Everybody please go. That way he can get a bunch of people in there. If I don't know how, if you get some guest requests, maybe if you guys are Christian and you want to join up, go follow, go to Joyful's live. He'll bring you up. Thank you, Giraffe. Thank you for the gifts, Giraffe. Thank you for the big gift earlier. I really appreciate you. Everybody, go um, skits raid on Joyful. If you guys are in the guest request, the guest box, and you're Christian and you want to go talk to somebody, go on Joyful's live. He'll bring you up. Have the best night ever. You too, Weird Al. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys. Skits Raid on Joyful Apostate. Let's go right now. <laughs> 